Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Ninja here and today we're back at it again with the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video. Now, if you guys don't know, yesterday they released a DLC, a free DLC patch for PS4 and Xbox One for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. This patch included Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and a new variant of Hit. And let me tell you, both of these characters in the game are probably top tier. They're incredible characters in the game and I'm very happy that they were added to the roster. But the question is, who is better in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2? And that's what we'll be discussing in today's video. Now, first we'll be starting off with Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. And for the most part, he's pretty much the exact same as regular uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. The only difference is that they have different moves. Even the super moves are actually kind of different. The regular Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the one before the DLC, pretty much had the new god moves. Super God Fl Shock Flash, Burst Kamehameha, and all that stuff. Here is, this one just has Super God Fist and regular Kamehameha, and I'm kind of happy they did that, although I do wish it was burst Kamehameha, but whatever. His super moves are alright, but now we go on to the Kaioken. And as you can see, he hits really, really hard, and he goes really fast as well. And the crazy thing is, this isn't even times 10, so it's doing really, really nicely so far. But pay attention to my health real quick. You see that it's slowly but surely decreasing my health, and I tested this out, it can go all the way down to at least 1 HP, it will not stop decreasing until you stop transforming. If you stay transformed the entire matchup, it will keep decreasing your health, and if this is a long match, let's say, you're gonna get down to 1 hit away from near death. And while the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken does really, really insanely good, there is one big flaw. The moment someone breaks your stamina, which by the way, I obviously didn't get my- I got my stamina broken on purpose this time, but let's say you accidentally get your stamina broken. You're done for. Your Kaioken ends. It ends that quickly and you have to get your stamina back so- or a key back so you can do that move one more time. But now let's move on to the Kaioken times 10. This is even better when it comes to attack damage. It's actually a bigger difference than what it was from regular Blue, uh, Blue Goku to Kaioken. And as you can see, this one is- look how quickly it drains your health though. It's ridiculous. Just- it goes from regular and just going at, down at a small rate to going at a really, really fast rate. So it's bad, but look how much he did. He nearly wiped out my friend Zeno Z Snake by, which by the way, thank him for doing this. I'll have a channel link in the description. I hit him up to, you know, sorry to get off topic, but I just want to say that. He hit really, really hard, but the thing is, his HP gets down even, even lower. So it's best to use the Kaioken Blue Goku as a last result. So pretty much all this thing is, is a new super, is a reskin, or not reskin, but pretty much the exact same as regular Super Saiyan Blue Goku, only as Kaioken, but even then, the Kaioken you're supposed to use as a last resort, like in this show. So now let's move on to Hit. Now in my opinion, Hit is a far superior character in this game than Kaioken Blue Goku. Because the reason being is his moves are totally different. Now don't get me wrong, Hit's moves in uh, his original variant is actually really, really good, but this one just takes it to a whole new level. Rather than going with, you know, basic, regular moves, he- this hit relies more on counters. So he's pretty much just gonna be counting your opponent all the time. Don't expect to hit your opponent first, rather, as hit, you'd rather let your opponent hit you first, and then you counter it with an attack of your own. And his cut yeah, see, like, that one right there. His ba he has a, a counter for a back hit, he has a counter to run into you, he has a counter if you attack first, he pretty much has a good- uh, some really, really nice counters that you can- that can be very useful. Uh, and another difference about this hit, he has something called Pure Progress. I consider Pure Progress to be kind of something like a Potential Unleashed. It's quite balanced, it doesn't have too many setbacks, and it does very, very nicely. It increases all your stats, and it just, it, I don't know why, it makes Hit feel the exact same. It's not that big of a difference as like, you know, Blue Kaioken Goku is to regular Goku, but it still is a nice little power-up that you can add, but uh, yeah, I just see it as like Potential Unleashed. You might wanna, if you're like midway through a match, you're like, you know what, I don't think I can do this, oh no, I might need to get serious, then that's a good time to 
to use uh, pure progress, that's when you can pretty much just uh, g increase your stats and just wreck your opponent essentially. And I think that's a reason why Hit is superior to Kaioken Blue Goku in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Don't get me wrong, they're both great, great cards like I said in the beginning of the video, and they're both top tier units. But the question of the video is who is better? And I think while Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku is technically stronger than Hit, and he hits insanely diff uh, hard and that unlimited stamina thing is really cool, he has the biggest and probably one of the biggest hurt hurting things that can hurt him really badly. His pretty much his HP going down, and it's, it's even worse than Kaioken times 10, where it, it does not a great amount of damage, but it just decreases your HP so much. So it's best to use it as like a last resort or if you're that confident that you can beat someone within a certain amount of time. With hit for uh, with hit, however, he's a lot more balanced, having like very a solid amount of HP, key, stamina, and nothing like you know brings his health down like naturally or anything like that. And his moves are much much better, especially all those counters. But what do you guys think of the video? Did you like it? Well, if you did, like drop a like comment down below, and uh, yeah. If you agree or disagree, I'd like to hear everyone's thoughts in the comments down below. And another thing too, thanks to Zeno Z Snake for pretty much helping me with the online battles thing. I tried doing some battles on CPU, but I could not get the CPU to like. Break my stamina, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken Goku. So I had to get a friend to do it. So shout out to Xenozy Snake for helping me with this. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, Ninja. Oh, peace, everybody.